Hello everybody, Ragtag Zagvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we took on the Double Avalug. Uh, and successfully defeated it. In this episode, let's um start doing some cleanups, shall we? Owie, now, you can go see Commander Kamado, but I would recommend you avoid seeing him for the time being. Um, I'll explain a little bit more about it, but basically you do not want to see Kamado. So don't go to him right away. Now, now I will state this, hopefully you did get the unknown that was on the magic card by, otherwise you're gonna, you won't be able to get that unknown for a little bit. So let's get all these quests, they all involve the Alabas Ice Land, so we won't be able to do them until we go to the Ice Lands. But let's take a look at them. At home under the elves. It seems that Chimeko has made itself at home under the, under the leaves of one of the village houses. Speak with Aya, the elderly resident of Jubilife, to find out more on the matter. So maybe we can save that if one of the um, wisp hunting is short. Snow White uh, bull picks in the snow. Kekara, a security corps fellow from the Lola, has several bull picks, but he calls them Keko Keko. I think it's Keko Keko or Nico Nico. Might actually be Nico Nico now that I think about it. Track him down and, and see what his request entails. Mushroom hunting with swine up. It seems Molo, the mushroom hunter, needs help, a helping hand or nose. Make use of swine of special skills to fulfill this, his requests. Bit of help from Blissey. Pippa of the Supply Corp says a kind Pokemon called Blissey saved her from a sticky situation. Speak with Pippa about the incident and do your utmost to be, uh, to be of help if you would. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about the items. I'll turn it in, in the ne the, for the next area. Ah, if it isn't one of the beloved customers, might I trouble you to help out with a little survey work? In my family, we've always passed down tales of, the elves of, of some ancestor that lived in a village around the, on, on the avalanche slopes, but I've never been able to find any hint of such a settlement ever existing. I'm beginning to doubt the tales are true. But everyone wants to know about where they came from, don't they? So help me out if you find any evidence of people ever lived around Avalanche Slopes. So as you can guess, all these quests are sending us to the Adavester Iceland, so we won't be able to do it mo any of them until we go there. Which I'm saving that last on our wisp hunting. Wanda snuck out of the village without telling me, and she hasn't come back. I heard she was all bundled up against the cold too, so I got a sneaking suspicion she went to the Alabaster Icelands. Whatever ever sent her out there, it doesn't seem like it was an assignment from the security corps. But what else could make her want to go to such a dangerous place alone? I really need some help again from you and that Ursaluna. Use the scent from the, uh, from the scraps of Wanda's old handkerchief. And search and search out her out for me. And this time I'll go looking looking for her myself as well. I can't just stand by and rely on you every time, Hunter Big Brother. I, I can't let her down now. Wait for me, Wanda. I'll save you this time. Oh, my savior! I was looking for you, you know. Wanda. Why are you here? What? My brother went to the Alabaster Icelands? Seek, seek that brother? The one who refused to even set at foot outside the village since he got out attacked by some shinks and totally dramatized? We gotta go find him at once. Unz, please savior, you gotta help me once more. Uh, one more time. So now, so, in a twist of fate, Wanda wasn't the one that got lost, it's her brother! So we need to go looking for him when we go to the Icelands. 
What a twist of fate. You're thinking, oh, there we go. Wanda's gone lost again, but no. She hasn't. So let's start our with an unknown hunting. Uh, an outbreak of Staravia. That's not enough to divert me from the, from the field lands. So let's look around for all the remaining wisps that we've yet to collect. Uh, if, if it does take a little bit to find a wisp, I will just cut to its location. To help save a little bit on time, which I'm probably going to do maybe a little bit of cutting, depending on how far a wisp is from our current location. The one tip I can give is to always make it nighttime. That way, when you're flying about, out, and this is the best time to go looking for the wisp because of Braviary, you can just fly around and look from the sky. Then, while it's nighttime, um, you should be able to see the wisp from extremely far away at night. Matter of fact, you should see them before seeing Pokemon. Ooh, is that an alpha? We. <laughs> Gimme. I think also between episodes, I might make more Pokeballs as well. I didn't get the notification it was captured. There we go. Back to the sky. So let's start looking for those wisps. Should be a whist here. I must have collected it already. Where are those wisps? Again, if it does start taking a bit to find a wisp, I will just cut to one. So I do have a list of their locations. It says. Ooh, there's one. It says trying to cross reference to the ones I've already collected because there's no way to check what ones you have and haven't collected. So there's 12 wisps remaining. Yummy berry. I'm surprised that wasn't a back strike. Also on Ooh, that was my first alpha specimen I caught of it. I didn't realize I never caught that alpha. Where are you, wispies? Are there any here in the grueling grove? Any here at all? That. But there was resources up here. Like here, that. You think there would be a wisp all the way up here? Ooh. Speak of the devil, there is.
<laughs> Eleven wisps remaining. Is that an alpha carp? Ooh, alpha bleasel, I can go capture a new one. Hit you in the back. Nice. Now, despite there being a random um, alpha magic carp, I believe there is actually a placed alpha magic carp down this river. Ten wisps remaining. Before that, we want to plant. I just want to quickly check. There's supposed to be, I think, a placed alpha magic carp down here, isn't there? Magic carp, magic carp. There we go. There's your placed alpha. So there's always an alpha magic carp in this spot. Which I guess, if you're careful coming down the cliff there, you can try and catch it, but. They recommend you having a uh, Basil Legion for it. Oops, that's not Braviary. So I so for one of the unknown locations, I do know that it's around here. Let's start our climbing, shall we? Is that little dot a wisp? Wow, I think it is. Wow, I, su I am surprised how far away you can see them. I knew you could see them from far away, but I didn't think that far, Jesus. So if we come here, look around. There should be an unknown hanging out about here. And I was right, it's right there. How did that not hit? On oh, the sun's coming back, so we're gonna have to go back and reset the sun. Wait, well, if you come up here, you can find a bunch of more chops and even more chokes. But there's also another alpha here that you can try and capture. And that also reminds me, I forgot to release some Pokemon so I can get some stones to up my Pokemon stats. So I'm going to have to do that between episodes. Well, if you come down here, you're going to find a lot of uh, dark and blue tumblestone, which is really great. But also down here, you're going to see an Alpha Blissey. Now, if you know how to, um, essentially use Weird Deer to get up here early... Oh, wow, I'm surprised I didn't hit it. You can face this Alpha Blissey and try and capture it, and Alpha Blissey is worth a ton of experience. Like, if you want a lot of experience, you want to capture this Blissey. Is because the annoying part is Blissey's capture rate. And I don't have the cakes on me, and I forget exactly what Blissey likes. Oh, 
Oh, you stupid blissy. Ooh, no, 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 no. The Machap beat her to it. Hit you in the back. Good, we caught Alpha Blissey. Get the uh, stones here, and then we'll head to a camp and rest up. Let's go to the heights camp, rest up there. Sleep until nightfall. Now, of course, this way I am not going to be getting any uh, distortions anytime soon. But since we're hunting for the Wisps, I practically need the night time so that way I can more easily spot them. Now, I think, yes, up here on, on the heights, there is a Wisp. Okay, why can we see that particular wisp from an insane difference, but I can't spot any other wisps is from up here. Because I know there's like, I think there's like one on that little island that's not showing. Oh, and I think a few over there. There might be one on Raminous Island. Why is it the one that was by the woods that's showing from an insane distance? Ooh, please come out, Bravery! God damn it. Ugh. Oh, those are items I'm never gonna get back. I believe you need to have online to get those items back, so I'm never getting back those Pokeballs or Tumble Stones. Well, I guess I've finally shown up what happens when you die. I would have preferred if I went through this without dying. Is that an Alpha Subat? Oh, and it's playing menacing music, so yeah, that is an Alpha Subat. Oh yeah, that's definitely an Alpha Subat going by the cry. Alpha Subat are probably one of the hardest Alphas to identify eye from a distance because Subat's lack of eyes. You can't really tell by looking at the eyes. The only way you can tell is either by judging its size or... If you get close enough listening to the music. Is there any wisps here? No, I am actually surprised. Anyway, let's go over here because I think there's a wisp over here and also I believe there's an alpha we haven't caught. A safety berry. Okay, 
and hit you. I'm surprised there wasn't a wisp over there. Anyway, let's head over to where I know there's a wisp from seeing it from so far away. Uh, before we go to that one, I think there's an unknown here at the dam, but I need to check to see if I caught it. The Tidewater Dam, I think there is an unknown here. And I haven't caught it. Get in the ball, S. Satchel. Ooh, that reminds me, we haven't read the last two plates. The beans poured the remains of its power into the stone and buried it deep. Two beings of time and space set free from the original one. Where was it? Because I know it was around this location. There you are. As I break my legs. Seven remaining. Let's see, where are the next set of wisps? There's an alpha cipher there. I know for a fact I've caught the unknown in this area. Let's see, is there anything over here? Uh, an alpha gold bat. Yes, backstrike. Oop, that's not Braviary. Ooh. Good thing I summoned Braviary that time, otherwise if I hit the ground, I think I would have died. Wisp. I'm gonna have to go back to camp soon and reset time. Oh, uh, did I get the one that was over here by the lumpany? Looks like I did. All right, let's check, have a quick look around Raminous Island while it's still night out. Raminous Island looks clean. I do know there's a whistle on this little island I never caught.
Oh wow, and I've... If you can see that little flicker off in the distance, I think that's another wisp. Yeah, that little light I can see off in the distance, that is definitely a wisp I'm seeing. So I'll know to go to that camp and then go to that wisp. Again, I'm surprised how far away you can see these wisps at night. Like, I knew you had better sight range at night, because so compared to the day, you have to be practically on top of them to see them. At night, you can be, like, centuries away, and you can still see them. Which is helpful, given the open-world setting of this game, but... Still, it's just surprising how lenient they are with how far you can see them. And the sun's rising, so let's go back to the field camp, because I believe that was near the fields. Yep, I think it was this wisp over here that I was seeing from from that far away. Yeah, if I'm looking at the island from the right angle, yeah, I think it was this wisp I was seeing flickering off from that far away. There's four wisps remaining. I believe there's a few by the lake that I haven't gotten, and then there might be few left in the middle area? I know the lake I haven't touched much, so I know so there should be a few wisps there. get up here you can find some Pokemon and a lot of sky tumble stones up here if I remember correctly Ooh, I spy a wisp and also I believe there's an alpha Gyarados in this lake so if you haven't gone to Gyarados you can get one here three wisps remaining No, I don't think there's a whist on this little island, but you can find an unknown, the letter I. Trying to disguise itself as Bugwort. I believe that is the last unknown of the field lands, so we've cleared out the field lands of its unknown. Let's just find all the remaining wisps now. Which, again, if it does take a little bit, since we're on the last remaining free, I may start cutting. Just to save up on a bit of time. But I think the majority of them should be here, because I haven't touched this area much. Ooh, right next to the Alakazam. Two wisps remain. Alright, the question are, where are those two remaining wisps? Oh, come on! Really? That created enough noise? How is that considered too far away? Well, as I'm battling this Alakazam, I may defeat it or capture it. But it, however, whatever happens, I'll probably cut to me finding the next uh, Wisp. So be right back.
or not because the battle went extremely quick. I was hoping to capture it. But still, if it does take a little bit, then I will cut. See Mr. Mine. There's no wisp on the speech, is there? Great. This is gonna be the fun part. Finding the remaining two. Are they all in like in the middle area of the field lands? I think I can see one of them. But I can't tell if that's a whistle or if that's a reflection of the waterfall. Oh, I'm mixing it up with... If I can't find it, I will check around the waterfall, but I just couldn't tell oh, if that reflection I was seeing was the whistle or if that's just a reflection of the light of the waterfall. So it's roughly in that spot. And I thought I saw the whistle for a split second, but no, it's the, um, Sky Tumblestone. Ooh! There's one of the whistles by Snorlax. So one wisp remains in the area. Now the question is, where is that remaining wisp? This one I might cut to if it takes a little bit. I'm just going to take one sweep around here. Just in case it's around this part. If it's not here, then I'll start searching the middle area of the field lands more thoroughly. I don't see any flickering lights. I think there's a whisk around here. Did I get the one that was around here? No, I didn't! That's the last remaining wisp! <laughs> Give me that wisp! We've collected all the wisps in the in the Ophidian Sea of Fieldlands. So the Fieldlands has been cleaned out. Let's just quickly grab, capture this Alpha Floatzel and then return back to the village. Bam! Back to the village we go. Sad we didn't find any shinies during that. I thought we might have, but not a bad haul. And a good chunk of change. Let's see, we still haven't completed Rapidash's decks. Extremely shaped antlers have the power to bewitch those who see them. Medicine made by grinding up the black orbs from the fallen antler antlers is effective treatment for insomnia. Has a long, rather splendid flotation sack, which prevents floats from drowning, even in stormy seas. One might glimpse this species around fishing hermits from time to time. There's a shiny magic carp I caught off, off screen. I don't know if I ever showed that. 
The longer Alakazam lives, the larger and heavier its head becomes. Our tests have shown the strength of its psychic powers concentrates positively to uh, collaborate positively to the weight. Uh, corrects as positively the weight of the head. Uh, I'm pretty sure we read Sorax entry and Blissey, a kind-hearted Pokemon that will care for any sick person or Pokemon until their health improves. The egg it lays are nutritious and bring good fortune to those who eat them. So back in the village we are. And with that, we'll end the episode off here. So in the next episode, we will go and clear out the wisps that are waiting for us, us in the in the Crimson Mire. And if we get a bit of time, we might finish off some. We might do one of the side quests. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, do like the video as it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below on your thoughts in this episode, and share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. And I'll see you all next time. Later.